All right, there was a fair bit of news that dropped, and since the lack of transparency makes it difficult to kind of keep up, I got y'all. I'm gonna keep y'all informed. All right, listen up. Before we get started on the video, link is in the description. I know some of y'all have been waking up like, I just don't know, there's something missing in my day. It's my Instagram account, which I finally, yo, pass that? I made my Instagram account, so I know y'all wanna follow that. Yo, it's in the description. I know y'all wanna see these beautiful ass photos of me. I know y'all wanna see the way these Snapchat stories on Instagram. I also made a new Snapchat, links in the description. I'm also on Twitch, so if you haven't been following me, I'm streaming Assassin's Creed. I'm on, I'm on to some big stuff, bro, so y'all gonna wanna, my guy, are you photobombing me? Hey, links to all that is in the description, click it. You clicked it? All right, we can move on. Actually, we're not. Click it, I know half y'all didn't click that. Y'all better have clicked it. All right, now let's move on. Lead. <laughs> you hurt me. And I also have a Twitch. I'm gonna be streaming some Assassin's Creed because you know that drops at midnight. I'm gassed. If y'all wanna follow those streams, links in the description. All right, okay, so this is what happened. So for those who don't know, NBA 2K and the NBA working together on an eSports league. Listen, this gets me gassed, all right? Y'all know I'm all about the comp. I like to, I watch eSports on games I don't even play. Why do I watch Overwatch eSports? Ask me. I don't have an answer for that question. Listen, I've been watching all of Rainbow. I, I love watching Call of Duty eSports. I, don't, I haven't played Call of Duty since Black Ops 2, but still, I enjoy it. So when 2K said they're dropping the eSports league, I said, Bro, what's, what's up, man? <laughs> and an article dropped really discussing it in some detail, and there was some notes that really got me interested. All right, check this. So a question was asked, will we be seeing any spectator features added to NBA 2K18 to help with eSports viewing? A very real question. If you guys ever watched NBA 2K and they showed Pro-Am, they have custom camera angles, just like you can do on my career and you can go in there. They have that, they just don't allow us to use them, but they have access to those. So there's obviously a version of Pro-Am that we already don't have, but the reply was very interesting because they said, we should be clear, this is not gonna be the retail version of the game. 2K is working on developing the mode that we're gonna be playing in. So one, that means there's a team that's helping develop an entirely new Pro-Am that's fit for eSports. Which is like a sigh of relief because if you think about it, Pro-Am is not even remotely close to being an eSports mode the way it is right now, not even. You can't practice privately with your friends, you can't run up against AI, you can't play call. If I call zone and I'm a sharpshooter at shooting guard, I wanna play the corner because I'm a sharpshooter with weak defense. I'd rather have the small forward play the top. You can't switch zone assignments. Like it's some basic stuff that in competitive atmospheres you should be able to have, but 2K doesn't have yet. And so for those reasons, I was like, I'm, I really want this thing to pop off, but the way it is now, like, as optimistic as I wanna be, realistically, it's not. And you know, any first year with esports is gonna be tough. Like 2K was gloating at the end of this article. They said something, look, here's what they said. When we did our road to the all-star in New Orleans, we have 500,000 competitors and 100,000 teams competing in a tournament. The finals of those tournaments had 2 million views. And like, you know, they're kind of like inflating their numbers. Did they have 100,000 teams competing? I mean, what is that competing? Like they, so probably like three guys got together in a pro and tried at one time and they're like, that's a team, that's a team. So it wasn't as competitive as they're making it seem. There was probably like a group of a hundred that even really had a real shot. But the number that perplexed me was the finals of those tournaments had 2 million views. Like I watched the tournament, it had 5K live viewers, right? Afterwards, it probably got some more views. But 5K live viewers for the finals, and I know it's their first year, so they kind of get a pass when it comes to that, but most of the, and maybe not most, but a big chunk of the people watching were just my team viewers who wanted to get those free locker codes that 2K promised throughout the stream. And so I guess it's smart they could talk about how high their numbers were because they did every trick in the book to try and get people to watch it. They promoted it in-game. But let's not pretend like this is a 100% success rate on this league. There's a lot of hurdles that you can see them having. There's not a massive skills gap. If you watch any fighter and you play fighters, how do they block how do you block throws? You have to react within one and a 20th of a second to block the throw. Like I watched JDCR play on Tekken. I'm like, jeez, insane amount of skill. But I don't know that you can say the same about 2K and that's one hurdle. It doesn't have that large of a skills gap. There's a lot of randomness involved, the percentages, the way they are. I assume they're gonna be adjusted for esports, but in the off chance they're not, that's gonna be an issue. But two million views, 2K. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe through all the platforms, if you times it by 10, they maybe would've got 1 million, but that's not from what I've seen. 
<laughs> Maybe they streamed it on Facebook. I don't know how the Facebook stream did. I can't imagine people watching esports on Facebook though. There was another bit that perplexed me. As we build the league, we are 100% focused on it being community driven and community first. Now, come on 2K. Come on, come on. Do we, do we, are we gonna trust? Are we, I want to, you know? Every, every developer says this, only a handful of them really mean it. I'm, I'm gonna remain optimistic, uh, because I can't see, the, what's the chances? Like, yo, yo when, when the sponsors are involved, when money's involved, you know 2K is gonna put in work, right? <laughs> yo, 2K knows if this pops up, they're making bank. You know 2K is gonna pull out all the stops. Uh, or at least I hope so. So listen up, patch four drop, and it, it fixed a bunch of stuff, some of which they still haven't talked about. Like it fixed squad invites, they didn't talk about that, but it broke being able to join your friend's park. If I join my friend's park, I click join park, it, it throws me to an entirely different playground. So 2K, please, for the sake of all of us, make a patch, patch five, they said they're gonna patch zigzag cheese. They, they, there was a whole load of stuff that they said they was gonna be addressing. Uh, apparently the East Coast, West Coast issue is fixed in Prime, so it, it finally seems like a month and a bit after the launch of the game, everything is kind of coming together, and hopefully after we iron out some issues like the custom shoe glitch, there's a closet glitch on top of that, people have to pay VC for a custom shirt that they made, why? Like, they also said that in the patch, if you're signed with Jordan, you don't have to buy Jordan shoes anymore, you, you get those for free. Yo, but real quick, we need to do this. Shout out to my guy, J.R. Smith, bro. Listen, the devs rarely respond to us, right? I know some of y'all think I have a plug, right? Agent Zero just knows the developers. They don't respond to me, all right? I rarely get them to respond. So stop asking me to DM Mike Wang or some. The only community manager that follows me is LD2K. I don't have some sort of secret plug, but you know who does? J.R. Smith. Every time J.R. tweets out about the game, he gets a response. So here's what we need to do as a community, okay? Shout out to JR, he follows me. We need to get a list a list of things that need to be patched and fixed. All we need to do is send that to JR. JR will get the response we need. <laughs> JR could, might as well be the hero of the 2K community. We don't know. JR tweeted out about having to buy shoes and he signed with the company. Why would I have to buy shoes? Ronnie responded. I was like, Ronnie, we're we're just so uh, we got we got to get NBA players to help us out. NBA players can help make 2K great. <laughs> I'm playing, but I just know that like that's the only time we get a response. <laughs> Other than that, Mike Wang is kind of just responding randomly to some comments. But yo, it's kind of coming together. I'm not getting kicked out of anti up games. There's some glitches that people are really abusing right now that I'm sure they're gonna end up patching. And the sad reality is that I don't even know because. 2K every year, like, game comes out, is really not finished for beta testers, and then they kind of patch stuff and make it better. Sometimes change the slider so much that they make it worse, but this year, definitely better. And then the game becomes playable, and then at that point, we're like, all right, cool, but could we have just had that at launch? Listen, man, Chris Move has been going on a rampage recently. He's been dropping all kind of rant videos. This is it's been caught everybody off guard. Nobody expected this to happen, but all I know is, if he's dropping rant videos, and he made a video saying the gameplay hasn't really improved from last year, I was like, yo, smooth, relax, my guy. Because he might be like the all, the only other person in the community that can get a response. Yo, some of y'all have a cold case of franchise fatigue. I'm sorry, man, but it happens to the best of us. I mean, so many people I've been talking to talking about like 2K is dead. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Every year 2K drops, they get new viewers, and then the old, the OGs, sometimes get franchise fatigue. Like it happened to me with Call of Duty. I still keep up with the esports, but I don't play it like that. You know what I mean? Unless a new game mode comes out of nowhere that begins to flourish. Like when my team slowed down, Park came out of nowhere, right? When my career slowed down, my team came out of nowhere. So it kind of kept people fresh for a while, but there's, I don't know if there's any huge game mode coming. So the 2K community is not dying. Cause people keep trying to say that. It's just some of y'all have franchise fatigue. It's a case, bro. Talk to a doctor. A doctor can help you with that issue. It's 2K. At the end of the day, it's a basketball game, right? We just want a really good experience. One that's enjoyable. One that plays well without bugs and glitches. And maybe not without, because without is impossible, right? There's always going to be a bug or a glitch in any game. But with limited, right? We want to feel like the game is polished when it comes out. I heard some of y'all saying, Oh, how did you go to the NBA event? And then you, you came back and you said it was good and, and it's not good. Hey, bitch, all right? Listen carefully. How was I supposed to know that in one hour of playing the game? I went, went there and told y'all, 
Guys, the gameplay feels silky smooth. It's the way the whole event was designed. We went to the barber shop more than we actually got a chance to play the game. I'm gonna leave it on that, man. Uh, the 2K League, I have hopes. I have, uh, you know what it is. But every time I get hopes, I get let down, but hopefully that's not the case this time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe, listen. Follow all my stuff in the description, every single one. And then I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out. Peace.